Hi guys, I uh, just thought I'd demonstrate the versatility of these vibrating toothbrushes that I can buy in our local pound shop for a pound. Uh, last night I made this little electric car using the toothbrush. Um, as you can see it's just geared or using a pulley effect onto the back wheel there. And I just thought for the fun of it, I'll modify another one, stick it to a piece of cardboard, and then use that as a mobile power unit to power that car, which was a balloon jet car. That one, which is also a balloon jet car, the balloon's not in there, but it goes through that little hole there. That was one I made using the wheels made from VHS cassette spools and then I thought I might even try and electrify this one which was just an ordinary rubber band powered car so I'm going to see if I can do all three of those one after another using the toothbrush so first of all I'll cut that up and mount it on the piece of card and then I'll use double sided sticky tape to stick it to each of these in turn and see if I can make them all all run. Right, the toothbrush I've already disassembled and I've already taken the little offset weight off the shaft of the motor um, there's a separate little help file that I'll link to that shows you how to do that. All I'm going to do now is cut the end off here, put the bits back together and mount them on the cardboard. Because I did one of these last night I know exactly where I can cut here to give the right access to the motor probably shaking the camera so I'll turn the camera off. Right, I've cut the end off so you can see the shaft of the motor sticks out nicely. I've also drawn an arrow on it so I know which way the motor actually rotates so that I get it right when I put it on the car. What I need to do now is put a little dollop of hot glue on the end of there to stop the rubber band falling off and then I'll glue it onto there so that we then got a mount that I can mount onto the different cars. Right, there we are, that's hot glued onto the cardboard. I've made sure the hot glue doesn't actually cover the end so I can still get the battery in and out if I need to replace it. And I've put a small piece of hot glue on the end of there, hopefully that will hold the rubber band in place, stop it sliding off the end when it's going round. Next I'll put some sticky, double sided sticky tape on the bottom. Stick it on here. And see if we can position that so the rubber band connects to the inside of the wheel because that looks like that will be a handy little pulley to connect the rubber, rubber band to. Right, I've just looked at the different cars and I've decided I'll start with this one because it's the widest and whereas on the other cars I'm going to have to cut this bit of cardboard down a bit so we'll start with the widest one first and then work down through them. Okay. We need the double sided tape to be mounted, or at least we need the, the mount to be in the right place so that there's just enough tension to spin the back wheels. If it's too tight, then it'll well, the motor just won't turn if it's too tight, and if it's too loose, it'll come loose, obviously. So, let's take the sticky, 
protective bit off. Get the rubber band around there so we can measure it. So we want a bit of tension. Try it about there, see what happens. Just a bit too tight. I know. That looks like that's going to work for a little while. Probably just enough to go along the floor. If I was going to do this permanently, I'd actually modify that wheel so that it's got a ridge on the inside to stop the rubber band sliding off. But for the purpose of this exercise, just trying to get each one of these to run quickly. That's as far as I'm going to go. Let's take the rubber band off because we don't need that one there. All I want it to do is just go up the table. So, switch it on. Slipped off straight away. Okay, what I'll do is I will stick a bit of card on the inside there to stop it coming off. Piece of cardboard. Side. We need this to be just slightly bigger than that. Hole in the middle for the axle. around the inside. I just need to trim that down a bit because obviously it's much bigger than the wheel at the moment. Okay, there we are, modified. We've now got a extra little ridge on the inside to stop the rubber band coming off. So if we switch that on. One X rubber band powered model converted to electric power. Right, next thing to do is tear that back off there. And mount it on this one. In this case, as I said, I got to Cut that down a bit because that's too big to go between the axles, uh, between the wheels. Cut it back there somewhere. Okay, rubber band. There we are. Again, we want that to be going, that's going to be turning around that way. So it's got to be on that side there to make that wheel turn that way. And it's going to be over there. OK. 
Okay, you need to put a bit more double-sided sticky tape because I've just cut that piece off. so you can see what I'm doing. I think that might be a bit too loose actually. But let's turn it on and find out. Alright, that looks like that's going to run. works. I think it takes a bit of time to get up to speed because the rubber band is slipping. But he goes. In fact I think I might just put that one on the floor so we can see it. That looked okay. Right, so that's two of the cars done. Let's take this back off again. Get the rubber band back. And number three car. Again, I think that fits. Oh, that's just going to be the right width. Remember which way we want it to go. Point the arrows in the right direction. I better put the rubber band on so I know where to position the motor. Put a little bit of tension on it. Stick it about there. And the motor on. There we go again. Oh, that one's definitely slipping. I haven't got enough tension on that, I don't think. I'm going to have to reposition that a bit. going to be between the front wheels and it doesn't quite fit so I'm going to have to cut the cardboard again. Again, a bit more tension. Hmm. I think I've overdone it this time. Uh, I've, got tilt I've got it tilted backwards slightly. Let's turn it the other way. There we go.
Oh, that's fun. So the summary is those vibrating toothbrushes, the cheap ones, if you take the little weight off and just attach a rubber band, you can power all sorts of toy cars with it. That was fun. <laughs>